Hey everyone, today I have a haul from the San Diego Goodwill outlet. Um, I went to the new location in downtown and over there everything is either $2 a piece or if you get 15 items it's $27. So I basically paid $2 for each item. And for the most part, I'll be listing everything on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Um, but there are a few things maybe I'll also cross post over to Curtsy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I found was this dress. It's a nice dress for spring and summer. And it's from Wilfred, which is an Aritzia brand. Um, I haven't looked up comps on this specific style, but I'm thinking either like high 20s or low 30s for that. And then next, I found another dress that sold at Aritzia, but this is the brand Sunday Best. It's the same kind of like spring, summer style. Um, there's some smocking in the back, and I think, again, like either high 20s or low 30s for this dress. And Aritzia is one of those brands I do like to cross post over to Curtsy as well because um, that kind of demographic does well over there. And shipping is cheaper over there for the buyers and also seller fees are lower. So I love selling um, things on Curtsy. But yeah, next, this is a jacket from Everlane. It's like a nice fuzzy material. It's in pretty good condition it is probably not as fluffy as it once was when it was first bought but it's still in great condition no like marks or stains or anything I haven't looked up this particular style and I feel like that really matters for Everlane um but I'm thinking maybe in like the 30 or 40 dollar range for this depending on how many others are listed in this style and size and I think technically because I bought like I did like bundle the bundles of 15 items so this was just you know basically two dollars but if I was to just buy like not have bought a uh, 15 item bundle the, technically jackets are like five dollars each but if you buy them in a bundle then you can just put the, do like the bundle pricing of 15 items for 27 dollars um but yeah I feel like it kind of just depends on your cashier if they're feeling lenient or not but yeah just keep that in mind for the most part everything is two dollars but technically like jackets and formal dresses are five dollars a piece but yeah um the next thing I got I feel like I heard of this brand maybe from Riley from Riles Thrifted it's Baltic born it's this long chiffon long sleeve maxi dress and it's more of a basic style but I think like the retail isn't super high on this but the resale market is pretty decent but I'm thinking I think like in the 30 or 40 dollar range again for this dress but I'll have to look up the particular style I've never sold a brand like I said so I'm excited to see how it does um next this is a new with tag dress from the brand beach lunch lounge which is like just sold at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls I think but I thought it was a really cute style for spring and summer it's like this gauzy lightweight fabric gingham print and it's a size 2x so um I don't think like the retail value was crazy high on this but I think since it's a nice style I should be able to get like you know between like 18 or 22 dollars for it um at the bins there is a mixture of like raw donations like stuff that's just donations that haven't even been at a Goodwill retail store but there's also like a lot of stuff that was at a Goodwill store and just didn't sell and I feel like I've like never even gotten that much stuff that actually had a Goodwill tag on it but this was it was originally priced at $5.99 they're these biker shorts from Beyond Yoga and they are their popular space dye fabric that's super soft I um the Goodwills over here in San Diego they never have sales so there is like a lot of stuff at the outlet where like Goodwill just priced it way too high and no one ended up buying it so just because it's at just because it has a Goodwill tag on it doesn't mean it's like a bad style or like undesirable it's just most of the time I feel like it's just priced too high for someone to buy it so yeah I don't really see that as a red flag next this is another thing that would have been like I actually I think this is like might have been $10 even like the formal dresses if I didn't buy it in like a 15 item bundle but it's like this formal dress lace floor length it's just from Windsor which is like a more affordable 
place to buy formal wear, although it's like, you know, it still is formal wear, so it's not super cheap. Um, but I've had luck selling like Windsor, like prom and formal dresses, just because since like the retail price isn't as high as some of the more like designer brands, it like people are able to buy it for a more affordable price. So I'm not expecting like over a hundred for this, like, you know, other formal dresses maybe would go for. I'm thinking honestly, probably like maybe like just even like I'll probably list it in the $40 range and maybe accept somewhere in the $30 range even. Also because this style isn't like a super like super trendy style like I've definitely seen people wear like you know lacy maxi dresses but I think like you know the corset dresses are maybe more desirable for like this prom season. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it does. It, it's also something I could take to a consignment store if I'm not able to sell myself. Um, but next, these are some golf shorts. And they're a collab with Puma and PTC, which is Palm Tree Club, I believe. And so I picked them up because like they were a collab and collabs tend to do better. They are a 2X golf short. Um, I'm just thinking maybe like high 20s for these but I'll see if there's any others listed and then price accordingly. Um, next, this is like a nice little crop top with a lace up back. It's just from Billabong, but Billabong actually does pretty well for me on like curtsy and stuff. Um, I'm only expecting maybe in like the high teens for this, but hopefully it'll sell fast since it's like we're heading into the spring and summer season. Um, next, I originally threw this in my cart thinking maybe it'd be something I could take to Buffalo Exchange. It's just from Boohoo Man, which is, you know, fast fashion, nothing special. But it's this men's eyelet button down. And I think because of the style, I'm going to try and list this myself first and see what I can get for it. And if it doesn't sell, I'm sure Buffalo Exchange would love to buy it from me. It's a size large. I just thought it was like a cool style for spring and summer. So... I'll see if I can sell it myself. Next up, this is a silk blouse from Eileen Fisher. It's 100% silk, long sleeve, and I think, you know, silk tends to sell pretty well around springtime. So I'll get that listed pretty soon. And then this is a men's polo from Scotch and Soda which is has a very expensive retail value. I had don't really have much experience selling it on the resale market, so I don't know what um, I would be listing it as. It has like these, this patch here, and at the bottom it has this printed on it that says Sun Club. So yeah, I'll have to look into this. I have no idea honestly what I'll price it at. It's a size XL. Again, if for some reason I can't sell it, I know Buffalo Exchange would love to buy that from me. And then next up, these are some pants just from Sincerely Jewels. Again, just sold at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Um, but they kind of have some smocking on the waist with like a tie around it. And they're like a wide leg pant. I got them because I wanted to try them on. Um, but if they don't fit or I just don't like them. Honestly, I probably won't sell them myself just because I feel like it's kind of a harder sale because Sincerely Jewels tends to be like pretty saturated on the resale market, I feel like. Um, so I'll probably just take them to like Buffalo Exchange or something. And then next, I also got these for myself. There's some just from Zara cut off shorts. I'll try them on and see if I like the way they fit. I just kind of liked the length on them. So again, if I don't like them, maybe Buffalo Exchange or something. Um, but next, I did hit a bin with like a lot of nice torrid stuff. So um, this was one of the things. This is like a lingerie piece. It's a size 4X, but it just has like this underwire bra top, like this baby doll fit. So not expecting a lot, probably just like 15 to 18 for that. And then next, these are some like linen blend cargo pants from Urban Outfitters. So yeah, they're a nice material for the springtime since they do have that linen blend. I think there was like a tiny spot on them, but I think someone will still want them. There's like a really small, I don't know if you can see it, bleach spot right there, but still functional, still in good condition. So I went ahead and got them because I know cargo pants, like wide leg cargo pants 
are really trendy right now. The next thing was, again, in that Torrid bin. It's um, a size 3. I think everything was either was basically like a 3, so a 3X. And this is like a nice tiered maxi dress. I'm pretty sure I've sold this before. It's like their super soft fabric, so it is super soft, but it does pill quite easily. So there is some pilling on it, but it's not that bad. It's still, you know, someone can definitely still wear it. So I think just because of the condition, it's not in like perfect condition. Um, I don't know, probably just like maybe $22 for it. Maxi dresses do sell really well for me from Torrid. Um, but I'll probably just, it's just, you know, a black maxi dress. It's nothing super special. So I don't know. I'll see what comps are suggesting. Um, but next, this is a very exciting piece. This was in a new bin and I was like the first person to grab it. So like no one else even looked at it. So if I would have found this at like an older bin, I probably would have been like, oh, like no one grabbed that for a reason. Like it's probably just nothing, but it's a Levi's jacket and it has like a, the paper tags so I know it's vintage and it's like a blanket lined denim jacket and it's in really good condition like you know it's not it is vintage so it's not like it's in like new condition um but it's still like there's no real like spots on it there's just some like discoloration around like the collar and stuff um but I was looking at comps and I think I can definitely get over 100 for this I'm not sure what I'll list it at like maybe like 199 or something and just see if I get any offers and just you know see what the market's like but yeah it is blanket lined and um yeah I honestly don't vintage is not my forte so I'll have to do a bit more research before I list it but it's it was a super exciting find for me and next these are just some airy um like cropped flare leggings um they're a size medium and I thought these would be a good thing to list over on curtsy as well I know like flare leggings and flare pants are pretty popular I've seen a lot of people like wear them to school and stuff so yeah I'm not expecting a lot for those probably just like 15 to 18 maybe for those and you know I only paid two dollars for them so I'm, I'm just hoping for like the lower price stuff just like for a fast sale but yeah next this is a nice mini dress from urban outfitters it kind of has like that y2k style so again maybe just like 18 to 22 for this next is another torrid piece again size three it's just this chiffon little blouse with a rose print on it this one is more of like an older style not like the most desirable piece I think so I get I think just like maybe like 15 to 18 for that but hopefully it'll be a quick sale this piece I think is a little bit nicer of a style again toward 3x it again has a floral print but it has like eyelet detailing throughout it if you can see and then it does also have a lace up front with some tassels so I think this one maybe like between like 18 to 24 um again like I'll be open to offers but um probably list it maybe at like 24 and then another one I think is kind of like the same level as that one it's a really similar style this one's more of a light pink toward 3x this one has crochet detailing on it and it also has that lace up front with a like tassel ties so um yeah i think it's good for spring because of the colors but it still has like sleeves if it's not like tank top hot yet um but yeah next is a free people cardigan it's a size extra small small it's just like an open front knit cardigan yeah it has some pockets just like a slouchy fit um I don't know I'll have to look up the style but I think honestly anywhere between like 18 to 32 for that cardigan just depending on comps and if there's others listed and stuff um but next this is a halter knit dress and it's from Princess Polly which is one of my favorite brands to sell on curtsy um 
I think for this piece, like the dresses do the best from Princess Polly. I'm thinking probably between like 22 and 26 for this dress, but I'll be open to offers per usual. Uh, next, this is a nice linen dress with a tropical print from Banana Republic. It's a size eight. I just got it since it was, you know, a linen fabric. It's a nice midi dress. So I don't normally sell Banana Republic, but I picked it up based off of like material and style. I'm thinking maybe between like 22 to 26 for it. And then I got another Torrid piece here. This one is just like a tank top. This one is a size 2X, but it has like a braided strap detail. It kind of has like a Western vibe to it. So I think this piece, maybe just like 18 to 22, just a tank top. Um, next, this is a dress kind of like that milkmaid style. It's just from the brand Cider, which is like on par with like Shein or stuff. But I find it a little bit more trendy than Shein. This one is a size 1X, but I just got it based off of style. It is just like a lightweight satin material. So it will be like shipping will be cheaper on this. So I went ahead and threw it in. If not, I'm not able to sell it again, I could just take it to Buffalo Exchange and still make a small profit over there. Um, this next piece I threw in kind of last minute. It's like this, it's like a satin material. It's just 100% polyester. It's from Oscar de la Renta. I did not look up comps, but I thought it would be worth it to pick it up because again, if you know, comps don't look too great over on like Poshmark and eBay. I can just take it to Buffalo Exchange and they would love to have like this vintage Oscar de la Renta. And so I'm sure I'll make like a pretty good profit from them. And then this was another thing I just kind of threw in. I think I needed like maybe like one more item to get to that $15 bundle. And these were just some, um, I thought they were new with tags, but maybe not. But they, oh yeah, they are new with tags. They're Forever 21 men shorts. And so I just thought I could just take these to Buffalo Exchange, make some quick cash from them. So um, yeah, just threw those in because they were new with tags. And then this is another new with tag piece. It's from the brand On The Road, but it was sold at Anthropology. It's kind of just this tank top. I'm thinking maybe it was advertised as like a beach cover up or something because it, it does have like these holes, like perforated kind of detailing in it. So yeah, I'm kind of just expecting like maybe like 15 for this. But um, yeah, I can't, it's hard to pass up like new with tags anthropology for $2. Next, I think I also found this in the Torrid bin. Maybe not though. It is um, the brand Old Navy. It is a 3X. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I found this in the same bin. It's a 3X. It's this gingham midi skirt with embroidered little daisies on it. I thought it was super cute. I've never really sold Old Navy, but I just thought based on the style, someone's got to want this. It's super cute. Uh, probably just like 15 for this. But yeah, I didn't want to leave it. It was just really cute. Um, next, this is a new with tags. I think it's, I haven't looked it up. I think it's a dress, like a mini dress. It's from ASOS and it's like their ASOS design line, which I feel like is a little bit more desirable than like just ASOS. It's just like fast fashion, but it's a size 10. I don't know, like I'll look into it, see like what it looks like on the model. And then maybe I could also take it to Buffalo Exchange, like I said. Um... I found this brand for the first time the last time I went to the bins. I found it again. It's Chubbies, but I feel like they're like pants and shorts and athletic wear is kind of what they're known for. This is just like a button down shirt and the print is like nothing super special. It's just like a palm tree print. So I'll see how it does. Um, honestly, probably not expecting too much. Maybe just like between like 15 and 22. I'll have to look up comps for this. Um, but yeah, I'm still excited to find the brand. And then this is a nice maxi dress with this like crochet overlay fabric. It's from Lane Bryant, which I haven't had a ton of luck selling, but I thought based off of style, like it was, it's like this halter neck, but it also has like off the shoulder sleeves. 
I thought it was a cool style and the fabric I thought was nice for spring and summer. So I thought I'd give it a try since maxi dresses also tend to do better for me. So I'm honestly probably just like, I don't know, like I'll probably start like between like 18 and like 24, but then maybe even accept an offer of like 15 or something, just cause historically Lane Bryant has not done the best for me. This next piece, I don't know why I threw it in. It's just this Zara top. I thought I would just take it to Buffalo Exchange um, cause it'd be like good for like the spring and it's, they love Zara. So yeah, just a satin material. And then this is a Lulu's dress, size medium. I thought it was a really nice style. It's kind of like this slinky fabric. It has like a slit and stuff. Um, but one of the straps is broken, but that's like a really easy fix that I know my mom can help me with. So yeah, I went ahead and threw that in. So yeah, and then the last item I found um oh this was also from a goodwill store they only wanted 12.99 i was expecting maybe more but it's rebecca taylor and it's this nice tweed material um so yeah it's like a fit and flare style i'll look to see at this particular style um it is like an older rebecca taylor piece so i don't know but honestly since i only paid two dollars for it like i'd just be happy in the 20 or 30 dollar range um, but we'll see and, you know, see how this particular style and like tweed dresses in general are doing. But yeah, that's it. That's my haul. Let me know what you think. I've been really enjoying going to the new bins because I live literally like half a mile away. So yeah, let me know what the best thing you've found at the downtown location has been. And let me know if you'd like to con continue seeing more hauls from the San Diego bins. Um, you can give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching.